Joining me now is Daily Mirror Royal Editor Russell Myers. Russell, good to see you. Thank you so much for joining us live tonight from Samoa. So, look, the king uh, drank from a coconut shell. He was uh, made a high chief of the village nonetheless. How has the royal couple been received over there? Well, good evening, Danica. Well, I mean, it's gone from, you know, better to even better. I mean, over here in Samoa, because I think there was a real triumph in Australia. And it had a couple of bumps in the road, didn't it? There was the issue of the Republican uh, issue going on, sort of bubbling under the surface. Then, of course, we had Lydia Thorpe at Parliament House in Canberra. But it was a great, fantastic sort of send-off at Sydney Opera House. And here you have uh, a real royal tour of old in Samoa. We've had the king and queen being welcomed by uh, local they had a traditional Arva ceremony. You're seeing the pictures there now. And it really did look like we were in a completely foreign land, many, many thousands of miles from home. And I think when they're speaking to some of the chiefs that had made King Charles a high chief of the village, they were saying that this was an opportunity of a lifetime, that they, all the villagers had bought into it. And of course, this, uh, the reason why we're in Samoa is the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting, which is uh, talking about some real big issues for Samoans. The climate emergency is very, very prevalent here. So all in all, a fantastic few days. And really good to see the King looking so relaxed after, of course, it was a very busy few days in Australia. And Russell, we, we last spoke to you right here exactly one week ago when you were in Sydney for the Royal Tour Down Under, which really seemed to go off without a hitch, of course, until Senator Lydia Thorpe's outburst. What was the reaction from the palace to the incident? How did they take it? Well, it's interesting because, you know, we've all seen the footage, haven't we? It seemed like a, quite a big moment at the time when Lydia Thorpe sort of walked towards the king and queen, sort of shouting at them, and it seemed quite fraught. However, when you looked at Charles and Camilla, the reaction, they, they looked pretty unruffled, is how I was explained to me, and you, you could definitely agree with that. You know, Charles has been um, around the block a, a long while. He's seen it all. I don't think it was anything for, for to concern him. And certainly the palace knew that Lydia Thorpe um, could uh, cause this sort of a stir. They decided to still invite her. They treated her with respect. You know, a lot of people at the palace had said that she didn't really reciprocate that respect. And that was unfortunate. But you look at the criticism along the uh, political divide for Lydia Thorpe, and it hasn't really gone her way. I mean, she's had her big moment in the sun, but it certainly didn't derail the tour. And uh, you just had to see the, the thousands and thousands of people that came out to, to, uh, to bid them farewell um, at the Sydney Opera House. And, uh, and I think that those, those pictures speak volumes. Yeah, absolutely. Now, Russell, you've been up close with the King now for more than a week. How is he feeling? This has been a very big tour for him, given he's still undergoing cancer treatment. How has he coped? Well, it's interesting. I mean, it's a tale of two halves, really, because I think the King um, would say himself he was tired. It's, it's a big, long journey from, uh, from the UK. He didn't have much of a rest day. They had that one down day on the Saturday. And, you know, I was with him at engagements. I did think he looked, looked a little tired. I mean, we were all tired. It's been quite a punishing schedule, regardless of him pausing his cancer treatment for a couple of weeks. The schedule really was still very, very busy. But, you know, I think he's really got together with the jet lag. He's, uh, he's really enjoyed being in Australia. He spoke very, very fondly of a land that he's cherished since he was a, a young man that shaped him who he is today. And he's really bought into the spirit of island life here in Samoa. So I think all in all, the palace is going to be really, really impressed with how things have gone. You know, it's, uh, it's been a tale of very, very two different scenarios, two different countries. But when they take stock of the whole tour, I think they'll be very, very impressed with how their things have gone. Oh, that's really, really great to hear. Russell Myers, appreciate you joining us tonight live from Samoa. Thank you very much.